what you first got to do all the way once we got married. Honey, you can't expect to be in some fancy schmancy restaurant and hear what Julian Dudley's do rider up to. Oh, come on, they're not going to hear anything about Mason this late in the day. You don't know that. It's kissing. Sounds like someone's kissing. At least. Now, who would Julian be kissing her office? Unless oh, she's having an affair with Cruz, I would not be the best. Pick him up with the recorder. Oh, we gotta get tape of this. Mm. Oh, what are you doing? Steve, mm. stop it. Mm. Mm. Well, the honeymoon was over. Huh? Huh? The honeymoon is never over, is it, Pumpkin? You got grease all over me. I'm sorry, I was overcome with passion. Before I'm overcome with nausea, here's the Gladstone file. We got him to cut a deal today in exchange. He'll testify in exchange for three to five. My goodness, you must have worked all night for this. You, you, this is very good work. Thank you. I have to work on the uh, Braxton case now, so you two continue with whatever it was you were doing. Who does she think she's fooling? Who was kissing Cruz in Julia's office? Gracious, what is this for? I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and everything you're doing in our whole lives, including looking for Mason. Well, I appreciate this sentiment, believe me, but maybe you ought to save it till I actually come up with something. Oh, you, you and Julia, you haven't come up with anything? Nothing concrete. Oh, well, you will. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, hi, hi. Hey, hi. I'm fine. Listen, I uh, gave Keith the file. I hope that's all he thinks we're working on. Did I get any calls? No, I'm just waiting to hear from Charlie. Uh, I'm sorry it takes so much of your husband's time. No, I just wish there was something I could do. Well, really. believe me, as soon as there is anything, we'll let you know. I okay. promise. Well, I'll let you guys get back to work. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Thanks for stopping by. You bet. You know, those people are always so nice to each other. Have you ever noticed that? I know it's enough to make me want to puke, isn't it? Wainwright. Yeah, he is. Hold on one second. Hello? Yeah, Charlie. I'll be damned. Where is it? Well, you got to tell us, man. We... Okay, you call us back the minute you know. Thank you. What is it? Well, an abandoned motorcycle matching the description the one we're looking for was located in Riverside County. He's going to call back and tell us exactly where the sheriff who found it was able to get up fragment of a print off of it? This isn't definite, but it looks like it might match Mason's. God. Mason's alive. I knew it. You know, it really is amazing that Mason's still alive. What's so amazing about that? His sister was once dead. His mother was once dead. CC was thought to be dead. You once were dead yourself and popped up just fine. We should form a club in this town about... All the people who were once dead. You're such a cynic. But I've always loved that about you. From these reports, it doesn't make any sense that Mason ended up so far south. Well, it seems like it would have been easy enough for him to double back once he got north of the city. But if he went that far, why didn't he try to call me or someone, anybody? See, so, you, know, you can hammer that question all you want, but you're not going to get an answer to it until we find him. Why doesn't your friend call? He will. He will. As soon as he calls, we'll hit the room. Samantha. I should call Samantha. You can't. we got to keep the line open. I'll here. use the other line. I've been telling her every day that her daddy may be coming home. Hi, Mrs. Cobb. It's me. I'm going to be pretty late tonight. Yeah, thanks. I'd appreciate it. Would you give Samantha a big hug from me and tell her that I love her very much? Thanks. She needs her father. we got to find him. Go. Castillo. Yeah. You're a saint, Charlie. Thanks. Hemet. Motorcycles in Hemet. How far is it? That's two hours away. Let's go. Well, come on. You want to be a hero or not? Oh, come on, honey. Will you relax? What are you talking about? They're going to get a head start on us. You don't have to leave for another hour. What are you crazy? Didn't you just hear what Cruz said? No, Cruz said, Cruz said, Cruz said. Forget about what Cruz said and listen to me. Listen, it takes two hours. 
to get to Hemet by car, but only 40 minutes by police helicopter. So we have a whole hour you to devil. ourselves. You are such a devil. Well, you know what they say. Being a hero is a tough job, but... Somebody's got to do it. Oops. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Hi, Sheriff. I was not going to need your help. You don't know who I am, but my name is... I Keith. know who you are. Oh, you do? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, that's going to make this a lot easier. Listen, um... You know, it, uh, it surprises me that someone like you would just walk right in here and, and make this so much easier for me. Well, you're, you know, normally I don't handle these kind of things personally, but, you know, sometimes you just like to do it yourself. You know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Keith, up. Uh... Why don't you tell the sheriff he's not going to need a gun for this? This is not going to be that difficult. You see what I'm saying here? I, 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 if you could just point that away from me. You got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't. What do you can, think you're we'll... doing, you boob? It's all over, Lefty. Now you and your babe can just step into that cell. Lefty, who? I, how am I supposed? I, listen. Listen, you are going to be in big trouble if you don't put that gun down. You know who I am? I know, you know who, who you are. You're Lefty Bosworth. And you're wanted for extortion, embezzling, impersonating a Marine, not to mention escape from prison. Now, wait a minute here. This not is... Not another word, Bosworth. Now, both of you, get into the cell. Okay, I don't right, even know what he said. He looks a little tired. All right, okay, all right, okay. This is going to be the biggest arrest in the history of Hemet. You are going to pay for this, my man. Shut up! Call the FBI, and you're gonna come over here. And they'll put you back into San Quentin. Do you have any idea who? Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me, Lefty? Uh, it's uh, Lefty Bosworth, all right. I, I, I got a picture of him uh, on file here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, six three. Well, no, he doesn't exactly look like he'd be. I see. Well, no, his uh, his right ear seems to all be there. Yeah, I I, I suppose that would be possible. Uh, all right, I'll I'll check the file and then I'll uh, I'll get back to you. He seemed to have a slightly different description of you, but I got the picture of you. You know, you're going to be in big trouble. Do you know who my husband is? Oh, honey, don't tell him. The sheriff seems to know so much. It was here somewhere. And I'll tell you, it was you. Aha! Here it is. They sent a picture from a newspaper file. And this is you being led into being sentenced with the district attorney of Santa Barbara. This picture was taken before you escaped. Yeah. What does the district attorney look like? What? Well, he's tall? Yeah, about 6'3". Could be. Look at his right ear. Oh, no. I, I mean, if, if this is Lefty Bosworth, then you must no, no, be... must be Keith Timmons, the district attorney from Santa Barbara. Pleased to meet you, Sheriff Hawkins. Yes, sir. I, I uh... Oh, you blew it big this time, buddy. Oh, listen, I, I, I'm really sorry, sir. I mean, you understand how a, a mistake like this can happen. I mean, in the picture, you both had suits on, and, and the other guy just didn't look like a criminal. And you're saying my husband here does. Oh, no, man. Like, let's get, let's get past all that and get down to business. Now, you recently found a motorcycle that was reported stolen, right? Yes, sir. I did. I, I've got the report here, right here, sir. Uh, I found it in front of uh, uh, Ma Wilson's... Uh, Front yard. Hmm. Sounds That's like quaint. a quaint place. Yeah, doesn't it? Well, uh, I'm very interested in this case. I think I can depend upon your assistance, can't I? Yeah, well, this is... It's where all the motorcycle guys hang out. Ah. Well, I tell you something. Uh, you're, you're, you're quite astute, really, at, at, at identifying criminal-type types, aren't you? Well, there are going to be a couple coming through your town, a man and a woman. Hey, you want to give me a description? Well, the guy is a really great-looking Mexican. He's got these dark eyes and the dark curly hair and this really handsome face and this terrific body squeezed into the tightest pair of jeans. Vivid! That's very vivid. Vivid. Stop panting. 
The woman will say she's working for the district attorney. The man will be carrying a gun. Well, what do you want me to do? Arrest them. Well, on what charges? What difference does it make? You were just ready to arrest us for no reason. He does it all the time. <laughs> honey, honey, this Sheriff Hawkins follows the letter of the law, darling. But luckily, I happen to know the man's not going to be carrying a motor vehicle registration. So I want you to arrest him, incarcerate him for the night, and then let him go. Uh, overnight? Just for not having registration? Well, you know, I... I just hate to tell people that you pointed a gun at an elected public official. And his wife. Humiliated and harassed them and put them in a cell. Like common criminals. I really don't think you want me telling people that, do you? No, I'll keep them 24 hours, sir. I mean, uh, don't worry about a thing. Babe, I won't. Why don't you go out there and look for these people, okay? Yeah, yes, sir. How'd you know Cruz wasn't going to have a registration in his car? Well, the moron left it in his glove compartment. One call, and then off to Ma Wilson's.